Millions of women use an OPK, or home ovulation predictor test, to increase their chance for pregnancy. When could your OPK be wrong? Stay tuned to find out. OPK stands for Ovulation Predictor Kit. OPKs are also known as home ovulation tests. The most common and affordable type of OPK uses test strips which you pee on or add urine to. To understand when an OPK could be wrong, you have to first understand a little bit about how they work. After an egg has matured in the ovary, it still has to be released into the fallopian tube. Ovulation, which is the release of the egg from the ovary, is triggered by a hormone made in the pituitary gland called LH. Normally, the LH levels in a woman's blood are low. Just before the egg is released, the levels of LH in the blood increase by a huge amount. This is called the LH surge. When the LH in your blood goes through the kidneys, some of the LH will be filtered into the urine. So it's possible to measure the amount of LH being produced by your body with a blood test in the doctor's office or by a urine test. An OPK tests the amount of LH in the urine. If the level of LH in the urine is high, that turns the OPK positive, and it usually means that ovulation is going to occur in the next 24 hours. But there are times when a positive OPK may not mean ovulation is near. Number one, women who have PCOS. PCOS is a problem which causes some women not to ovulate. Some women with PCOS have high LH levels all of the time. For those women with persistently high LH levels, an OPK could be positive all of the time. At IVF1, we recommend that women start testing with an OPK at least a few days before they think ovulation might happen. Ideally, the first few days of testing should be negative and then turn positive. If the test is positive from the very first day, you should not rely on it to accurately predict ovulation. Number two, women taking some types of fertility medications. Some injectable medications, like Menopure, contain the hormone LH. If your dose of these medications is high enough, it could turn your OPK positive without indicating ovulation. Oral medications like Clomid or Letrozole work by stimulating the pituitary gland to produce more of the hormones that stimulate the ovaries. It is possible in the one to two days after taking these medications that the LH level could be high enough to cause a positive OPK. Again, be wary of an OPK that is positive the first day you test, especially if you have just finished a dose of Clomid or Letrozole. Another medication that can cause your LH level to be temporarily increased is Lupron. Number three, you already ovulated. The LH surge has three phases where the levels of LH are increasing, steady, and then decreasing. The whole thing could take a few days and so your OPK could be positive for several days. Ovulation occurs within 24 hours after the start of the LH surge. If you started testing too late in your cycle, you might have ovulated sometime in the past. Having intercourse more than a day after ovulation has a very poor chance for producing a pregnancy. Number four, pregnancy and other sources of HCG. LH is very similar to another hormone called HCG, which is the hormone produced during pregnancy. Depending on the OPK you use, it is possible to see a positive result on your OPK from having too much HCG in your blood. This is also true if you are taking injections of HCG. The higher the levels of HCG in your body, the greater the chance that it could cause the OPK to be positive. Some types of tumors can also produce HCG, though this is pretty rare. Number five, kidney problems. OPKs measure LH in the urine. Any kidney problems that affect how much LH is filtered into the urine could give you a false positive result. Number six, menopause. If a woman has passed the menopause, there are no more viable eggs in the ovaries. The pituitary gland produces higher amounts of two hormones, FSH and LH. The high LH levels will cause a positive OPK. Postmenopausal women cannot become pregnant on their own. Number seven, surgery to remove the ovaries. Just like the case of women who are in the menopause, if a woman had surgery to remove her ovaries, the pituitary gland will also produce more FSH and LH. Number eight, pituitary tumors. 
Although they are pretty rare, some types of tumors in the pituitary gland produce LH, which would give a positive result on your OPK. Number nine, dehydration. When a woman becomes dehydrated, her body conserves fluid. As a result, she makes less urine and the urine she does make is more concentrated. If it is concentrated enough, it could cause an OPK to turn positive. An OPK is generally a highly accurate way to predict ovulation. If you have a negative test that turns positive after a few days, it is highly likely you are about to ovulate. If your OPK is positive all of the time, then it's recommended that you be evaluated by a fertility specialist. Looking for other tips to improve your chances for trying to conceive? Check out this playlist for great TTC tips. If you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future episode, put it in the comments. If you like this video, then like this video. Subscribe now. Infertility TV produces a new video each week. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.